We're a community of us. You would know it if you see us, but we find each other and walk each other through the journey of healing. I thought I was completely healed, but healing has many layers and triggers that send you in different directions. My trigger was becoming a mother. It seems interesting, huh? Well, it's a different thing becoming a mother while you have an absent mother. Alive, but absent, whether physically, emotionally, or mentally. It's like you're so unmud. You watch others seek and lean on their own mothers while your own is absent. You feel lost. Then if you're like me, you get angry. A rage grows within you that is big and violent. Your soul loves your little being so much that you can't imagine abandoning them like you were abandoned. I don't know, it, it makes you so angry for the little child that you were. At the same time, your conscious mind knows that she didn't have a choice. Poverty, lack of funds to fight in court, lack of a supportive family, and so many other things cause this. But your rage, it doesn't understand. You bite your lips a lot. Your husband doesn't understand. He thinks it's the exhaustion of being a new mom, but your mind is going in a million and one directions. How angry you are with her. How you want to scream and hurt her, just like the pain you're feeling right now. How you want to cut her off. Because you're tired of experiencing this pain. The pain that comes with absence and longing and the reunification that always, always falls short of all your fantasies. See, when a parent isn't there, but not completely absent, you're always praying for a reunion that will change everything. One that will have an apology, soothing for the pain and rescuing from whatever current hurts often financial, like giving you a home where you are loved and cared for, but they often never come. You keep swallowing the disappointment, even when it gets stuck in your throat, accompanied by hot, angry tears. Even worse is how no one wants to really acknowledge the hurt. It's always, hey, forgive. She's your mother. You'll never get another one. But you look at your child, innocent and completely dependent on you. And remember that you too were innocent, but with no one to depend on. And it wasn't your fault. How do you forgive the traumas and the struggles that were inflicted as consequences of her choices? How do you deal with the times you are taken advantage of? Because she just wasn't there. The rage makes you fear for your own child. Afraid that something will happen. You stop sleeping and one day, find yourself in a psychiatrist's office. See, not sleeping and being angry is actually a symptom of postpartum depression. You'd read about it, but just not this one symptom in which it presented itself. Your doctors give you a sick note. Um, your boss says she understands, but she doesn't really. She's still looking for you via WhatsApp on things that you don't remember anymore. You spend your days in bed. The sleep is strange, heavy, 
like you've been covered by a massive blanket and can't move your body. To wake up takes you long. Consciousness coming to you in waves. Your husband takes a night shift when your little one wakes up. He's there with a diaper, a bottle. And in the morning, he fixes breakfast that you wake up and find. <laughs> one day after he's gone to work and the nanny is late to come in, you hear your baby crying furiously. Your thoughts come to you slowly like someone is spelling each word out. And by the time you can open your eyes and gather the strength to lift yourself out of bed, it feels like 10 minutes have passed. You finally get to the baby. Comfort him as you take him back to your bed to feed him as you slowly gather your aliveness. At some point, the baby sits up and keeps looking back at you. You can see the confusion and the worry. But why should your child be concerned for you in this way when they cannot even speak? It's then that you decide that you won't let yourself be swallowed by this thing. You'll choose yourself and you'll choose to fight. Choosing you means going back to the things that made you the person that you are today. Doing your hair and nails, painting, meeting your girlfriends, planting your flowers. It gives you space to breathe. It renews your soul. And in it, you find compassion for her. Honestly, she had fewer choices than you did. Less help than you did. The only way may be to get to know her as an adult and take your hurts to a therapist. She loves you. But neither of you can turn back time and redo things. This motherhood swallows us whole. We react differently to it. Some of us survive. Others are destroyed. Others thrive. And others are set on paths where they never find their way home. But I'm thankful I found my way home. I am me, then everything else. Motherhood, a part of it. I hope you find your way too.